lots of either people either well they love them or they hate them and right now texas lawmakers are deciding whether to shut down the cameras for good so we want to hear from you do you think red light cameras keep us safe get out your phones go to kou.com slash vote now or click on the vote now tile in the kou 11 mobile app and while you do that jessica borg is going to explain this new proposal to us she is live in sugarland a city that does have red light cameras hey jess Hey there, Sherman. Yes, yeah, Sugarland has been using the cameras for about 10 years. The city says they actually increase driver awareness and safety. Now, over the next few weeks, state lawmakers will decide the fate of these controversial cameras, not just here in Sugarland, but everywhere. These cameras create conversation around the country. It's controversial everywhere, yeah. not just here. But in Texas, for the first time, banning red light cameras might become a reality. More than 100 lawmakers support a new bill filed by Representative Jonathan Stickland that would outlaw them. It's gotten more bipartisan support this session than any other bill. It hasn't been Republican, Democrat. It's really the people of Texas stepping up and saying, we want something done, we're sick of this. We don't like the idea of Big Brother in Texas. Stickland says the cameras violate people's privacy and that drivers who get ticketed have a right to face their accuser, a real person, in court. Yeah, I felt like it was a little unjust. Missouri City resident Lawrence Tate didn't contest his red light ticket, but doesn't think the cameras should be at intersections like this one in Sugarland. I feel like red light cameras don't prevent accidents. State Rep Stakeland agrees, pointing to a number of studies out of Houston and Dallas that show red light cameras tend to increase the number of accidents at intersections, mostly rear end crashes. But Sugarland, among a handful of cities around Houston that have cameras, says the opposite is true. The city says there's been a 58% reduction in accidents from 2009 to 2012 at targeted intersections. Drivers have mixed feelings about them. I think it's mostly a money grab. But I do believe in safety, right? So I'm not opposed to having cameras at intersections just to monitor crashes and things like that. To get a glimpse of their effectiveness, we set up a small camera next to the city's red light camera and recorded for nearly an hour. We only saw one apparent violation with these two cars heading into the intersection after the light turned red. I don't think it's intrusive. I think it, it may help. Now, lawmakers have until the end of May to approve the bill. Governor Abbott supports getting rid of red light cameras and, in fact, even made the issue a part of his reelection campaign. We are live this evening in Sugarland. Jessica Borg, KHOU 11 News. Thank you so much.